From New York, this is the Lone Star News Roundup for Tuesday, November 30th, 2010. Russia announced last week its intent to build an orbital street sweeper to clean up the debris-strewn space near Earth. Decades of space operations have littered our skies with dead satellites and scraps of space junk. The persistent dangers of orbital collisions and uncontrolled re-entries could be mitigated by the projected 15-year mission designated to be working by 2023. Swing on a star. Carry moonbeams home in a jar. Even Einstein thought it should be impossible, but scientists have now managed to make light itself behave as matter. Germany's University of Bonn announced last week they had accomplished the formation of a Bose-Einstein condensate of photons. Accumulating the massless, chargeless particles of light may have profound applications in the fields of data storage and solar energy. Electronic ink is the paper-saving technology behind the latest digital signage and e-readers like Amazon's Kindle device. Now University of Cincinnati engineers have put e-ink back on paper. Their demonstrated electro-wetting process may one day produce flexible displays that can simply be thrown away. Perhaps missing the point of a paperless future, but cool technology nonetheless. In Houston, a new program is giving homeschooled kids a wealth of learning resources for free. The Family Literacy Involvement Program, or FLIP, was created by the Children's Museum of Houston in association with Houston Public Libraries. Funded by a million-dollar grant by the University of Texas Children's Learning Institute, it offers multilingual take-home kits checked out to library cardholders with a wide variety of academic and cultural subject matter. And in good news... The rumors are heating up. Actor producer Dan Aykroyd told WGN Radio recently that casting is underway for a long awaited third Ghostbusters movie. He dropped the names of Bill Hader and Anna Faris as likely being associated with the film. The project has been a long time dream of Aykroyd, but impatient fans aren't counting their chickens just yet. The production is currently speculated to begin in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> 